So FaZe had a very busy Sunday in the 2K series. They matched up against Dim Optic Boys. That's Proofy playing with Embos and Ricky from Optic Nation, as well as Spacely, who filled in for Most Wanted. It's 2-2 after that epic game number four on Sovereign, in which FaZe was able to pull it out, coming down from as many as 20 points to win by just one in the final seconds, 158-157. You can hear the boys were fired up entering the fifth and final game. Here's a look at what happened on Freight S and D. Well, the air guy's going bomb white. The air guy's bomb white. Is he still green train? I don't know. He's I don't see him top. Last guy's one white. Boss, last guy's bomb white. Last guy's bomb white. One shot from white. From white. From white. From white. Let's hey, go, boys. Baby, let's go. Come on. Hey, Chris. Red door. Red in red. He's in red. He's in red. He's in red. App. He's ready. He ready. Went in. Nice. Let's, let's go. go. Baby, let's go. Good call. All three. Good job, App. Yeah. Come on, wait. The other side, Chris. Yeah, like yeah. right there. Hey, here's in the back of the fucking timing. Back of the base, I'm on bomb. It's all I'm bomb. Hey, he's on bomb. He just shot at you, and the other guy was back lumber. Oh, Ricky shot at him from lumber. Nice. He hasn't red. He's outside red. red door. He's outside red door. The far yeah, left door. Both there. They're you both got there. the kill. You got the kill. Plan, plant, 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 play the island. Play it, plant, play the island. Fuck it. You got this, Doug. We're here. All right. No, you got plan on the far right. Too late. Just let him play. Let him play. Let him play. Do you? The bomb has been planted. Do whatever you feel. Out of months. Owens. Both right there. Do whatever you want. Yeah, he, cha he, cha he challenged you. Uh -oh. There, there as well. Let's go, baby. 1v3. Let's go, baby. 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 let I'm looking Wait, for a right, Chris, right there. One. I'm planning it out, Chris. I got one. I'm planning. Sir. Let's That's fucking go, one. Chris. Not go underground, man. Yeah, oh, let, him play, dude. Not let him play, dude. Let him play. Okay. Let him play. Let him play. We're Whatever good. Whatever you want, then. I'm smoking underpass. Anyone got white cross? No. No. They, just, they needed mid alley. Yeah, they might push hard. Nothing Owens three. Uh, I'm gonna smoke front Owens. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm looking red three. Nothing. Chris, tell me when you want to make noise. Go, go now, go now. Call them out. No, I got you, Chris. I got him. One shot, one shot, crap. Hit him with a nade back there. Yes, Mike, back, 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 back it. I'm peeking red door. I'm peeking red door. I have red door. I have red door. Backing up. I'm backing up. I'm watching red door. They could be pallets. Push red, dude. Push red. Hold on. I'm looking red door. I'm looking red door with an AR. They're nading it. He's in the back of the back. Red container, red container. Back, red All right, they're stacking red then. They're stacking red because there's a guy in red. There's a guy inside red. You guys got bait switch for second story red. Bait switch, he's second story red, second story red, one shot. Nice, right, so I'm looking at that door. One guy's oh, gonna peek this. Where? Back, 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 Let's go, boys. Good shit. Good way to close it out. Another 2K in the bag. Time to take a selfie. Oh, this lighting is terrible. Oh, that stuff is terrible. Oh, sorry. I was doing a sensor. Um, so, FaZe able to take it. Sensor and Parasite. Both dropping 11 and 5 each to seal the deal on our Labor Day weekend 2K. But unfortunately, despite the win... The arguments over there on phase were not done. We skipped past game number one, and if you have virgin ears, I please ask you to either close your ears or walk away, get a glass of water. But here's what happened towards the end of game number one, the first major argument we heard between Sensor and Parasite. You get a three cap and win. We should yeah. use three. We need to use three hours in this map. We don't. Yes, we don't. We do. Yes, oh, we do. Yeah, no home flag control. Shut we up. Would I'm arguing with yeah, we would have been eating these guys alive if we used three ARs. And then it's no tank. one would hop the flag. No, it's we and it's matter. We, 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 we would have had time. And I hopped the flag plenty of times and stuff. We, we could win. We could win. Hard. Shut up. Push B. Match is over, dude. It's not. Dude, I'm tired of this over. fucking attitude Match's you guys over. have, man. That's over. over. What are you talking about? Dude, a three cap in a minute is 36 points. We were down by 25, and I was on A, and we had C. 40 seconds right now, dude. Yeah, now it's over, but damn, dude. You guys got to change your fucking attitude. It's shit. God. Stop with the fucking attitude thing, Doug. <laughs> the whole game is just bitching, dude. It's so annoying. I'm not going to play with it, dude. Change your attitude. 
You need fuck to you, Chris. Fuck I fucking hate you. Game. I'm gonna drop your ass. You fucking blow it, Cod, dude. Thank God. Thank God. This fool needs to shut his mouth, dude. Oh, dude, Doug's a child, man. This fool gets raped and sits there and like says, "Attitude, attitude." <laughs> oh, dude, Brian, did we not call it, bro? Brian, did we yeah. not call it, dude? Oh, uh, dude, we called it 100. percent What do you What do you mean? What'd you call? What'd you call? All right, so a little dissension amongst the team. Lots of arguments going there. Parasite and Dito arguing. Sensor trying to get them back focused. And in the end, they all are arguing. But it wasn't just on their stream that we saw the arguments. After the series, they took it to Twitter. And here's what went down between Parasite and Sensor. Uh, you saw some back and forth at the top. You see some grow up, grow thumbs. Nice return fire. I feel like I'm teaming with a 15-year-old, been playing for eight years, thought we'd mature, lighten up, play video games, the world will be okay. Uh, several other tweets kept coming in after that. And in the end, Sensor and crew made the decision that they were going to bench Parasite. Parasite calling out Sensor on a thread as Sensor said, you know, we don't necessarily have to take you to any LAN events. We can play with someone else. Parasite, if that's a threat, I'm okay with it. Well, here's what Sensor had to say in his video following all the drama. Hey, Sensor here. And today I'm going to talk about why we decided to bench Parasite from the team for season three. Um, you know, I tweeted out last night saying that we're going to bench him. And there's more to a team than just winning because we've had a lot of success with him online. We won the last 2K, we won the 2K before that, and they won the UMG Prime Tournament with TP two days ago. So, uh, you know, skill's not a question at all. Parasite's a great player. Let me get that out of the way first. I think Parasite's a smart player. He's very smart. He's very dedicated. He's very passionate about Call of Duty. He's a great player and a great asset to the team. But there's more to that than the team. That's what I said in the last part of my tweet, and I just want to clarify my meaning behind that. Basically, Parasite doesn't show respect for the players that he plays with. He doesn't have respect for anybody. So when he's going to try to take dictatorship over a team and try to control everyone and tell them what to do, in a sense, he's going to be right. He's going to say the right thing and he's going to mean the right intentions, but he doesn't have respect for people. And it's really hard to listen to somebody in your ear day in and day out when they don't respect you. And I'm not the only one that feels this way. You know, um, I don't want to get into too many details, but it just takes such a toll on you. It stresses you out so much when you have to play anywhere from two hours a day to 10 hours a day, hearing the same voices in your head that you know don't respect you. So I just want to make myself clear when Parasite would tell me to do something or tell me what to do in game, I'll try to swallow my pride and I'll try to say, hey, you know what, you're right, let's do what you said. And for the most part, it will work. You know, if, if everything is on the same page and everyone's clicking and he goes, he's gonna make a shot, we're gonna work and it's gonna do well. But, you know, it just takes, it takes so much out of you. So, you know, if, if Apathy, for example, was to tell me to do something, I would probably listen to him more just because I respect Apathy and Appy is a good friend of mine and I know he means well and he wants the best for me but I feel like over time Parasite just doesn't care about anybody else. He doesn't want the best for anyone other than himself and if you're not going to help him win, if you're not going to do anything for him then he doesn't care about you and I try to be the person to mediate everything. I know I'm the captain of the team but I don't want to be a dictator. I don't want to show everyone that I'm the captain, what I say goes, because I don't think that's right. I don't think anyone should have full power or control over anything. Um, I wouldn't bench Parasite if I didn't get the permission from a couple of people. I asked Apathy about it, he said okay. Everyone on FaZe was on board with it too. Dito, um, I don't want to get too involved with my team, but I'm going to say it anyways. Dito sticks up for Parasite, and you know he thinks Parasite is a good asset for our team, and Dito just wants to win, and he knows that Parasite helps us win, and we know that too. But at the end of the day, that's not what it's all about. You have to have respect for your players. You have to show your players that you mean well, you want to do well as a team. And until he shows that, we're not going to play with him because it's just gotten to the point where we can't stand it anymore. And somebody had to do something, somebody had to say something. And I was the one to do it because at the end of the day, it's not all about winning. And I just can't stand it. I, I'd rather lose with players that I love than win with players that I hate. And at this point, I've just lost all respect and I don't know what else to do. So. Um, I just wanted to make this video to explain my reasoning behind things. And, you know, once once I benched him, um, I got a lot of tweets. And I just, I, I don't know what to do anymore. It's just, it's just gotten to the point where you win and you just hear all this complaining in your ear. You lose, you hear complaining. And, you know, the things that you would say on social media mean something. And 
I don't think he understands that people look up to him, even though a lot of people in the community don't like this guy. People do look up to him, and he still has fans. And I just want to, you know, show him, and I want to show everyone else that you could change your image. You could change the way people look at you. I'm a perfect example. The person holding this camera is Replays. I used to say a lot of dumb stuff to him, and he hated me. And now Replays is one of my best friends. And it took me a while to learn that, but you know, you just gotta mature, and you just gotta understand that other people matter, and you need to help other people in order to grow. And that's what I try to get across to my team. We have an image to uphold. You know, we have a huge fan base behind FaZe, and I want to be able to show everyone that it's more about a team, and it's more about respecting each other and showing respect and having fun. You can still be yourself and have fun, but you have to be professional. You have to act a certain way on social media, and things need to change. So I felt this was the best move for the team. And um, I don't know how long it's going to last. We're going to play with Diabolic in the league. We don't know exactly what's going to happen next, but indefinitely Parasite's going to be benched. That's all I really need to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out, guys. Peace. All right. Thank you, Sensor, for letting us use that video from his YouTube channel. You guys can check out more from him at youtube.com slash sensation with a one instead of an I. Uh, but really, the meat and potatoes of that whole video, Sensor not happy with Parasite's uh, approach to things. He's very aggressive with the callouts. A lot of people can see that as an asset. And you heard him even say that Dito was standing up for Parasite and wanted Parasite to stay on board. But he and Apathy think that they can find similar success somewhere else. Parasite has always been a polarizing figure in the community. We've seen him bounce around to a number of teams all following his world championship with Fariko Impact. He's been on a number of lineups. None of them having incredible success finishing in first place. FaZe, we saw them get a top four finish at Gfinity and then have an awful finish at UMG. So I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with FaZe because this is a squad that's been on the move in the MLG COD League. And after the commercial break, we'll break it down for you where FaZe stood with Parasite on the team and what happened after his departure. We'll be right back.